The procedure is autologous fat transfer to the buttocks, mm -hmm. or some people would call it the gluteal area as well. The common name is Brazilian butt lift. The Brazilian butt lift got its name because it originated in Brazil, but one of the reasons it originated in Brazil is they as a people like a real full high buttock. Uh, and because of that, those that have it flaunt it, and those that don't have it want it. And so a lot of plastic surgeons got to looking at how do we make this happen, weren't satisfied with the implants and developed the technology to do fat transfer. It can be done under local anesthesia, which is a real advantage over implants. We do it through tiny quarter inch in incision sites and not half moon size scars. And it's your own fat. So there's no chance of a rejection. There's no chance of a capsule formation. And it's not something that you feel every time you sit down from now on. Recovery is really quite quick. Quite honestly, it takes longer to recover from the liposuction than it takes to recover from the fat transfer. We typically tell the patients to count on two to three weeks of swelling and most patients are able to go back to work in a day or two unless they do physical labor. Now, one important point, though, on recovery. When we move these fat cells to a new home, it's real important that the patient maintain their weight. We don't want them losing weight for at least three months so that your body has a reason to take up and use those fat cells in their new location.